So when I read this article here on Stripe.dev last week, adding payments to your LLM agentic workflows, uh, I knew straight away that I had to test this out. And you can see here LLMs can be used to create broad spectrum of automations of the personified as AI agents. These automations can transform prompts into sequences of programmatic actions to interact with other systems. So here Stripe has created this agent toolkit, right? And this is what we are going to try out today. And there are kind of three different parts of this if we scroll further down here. Uh, one part of this is going to be to create a payment link that is super easy to integrate with our simple landing page. I'm going to show you that. And I'm also going to show you how we can measure usage with metered billing. So this means that we can set up like a front end with a chat bot, right? And the customer pays for every token. So we can kind of set the token price and we will measure how many tokens they use and we can charge them based on this. So this is a pretty cool business model, right? If you wanted to host like a chatbot. Uh, but the thing that kind of was most intriguing to me that we are definitely going to take a look at in the future uh, is something uh, I want to take a look at now. And this is kind of what they called buy goods online, right? So if we click down here, you can see use Stripe issuing to create a single use virtual card for your business purchases. This allows your agents to spend funds. The issuing API allows you to programmatically approve or decline authorizations, ensuring purchase intent matches the authorization, right? So here you can kind of say spending controls allow you to set budget and limit spending for your agent. So I have gone ahead and I have applied to this Stripe issuing API now. Uh, so hopefully uh, I will get this very soon and I can actually give money to my AI agent and start doing purchases online. So that's probably going to be one of the next few videos if I get access to this uh, issuing API. Uh, but today we're going to focus on uh, creating charging for agent usage using the metered billing. And I'm going to create like a Stripe payment link object that makes it super easy to kind of set up a payment. So I'm just going to walk you through that because I think this is very helpful if you want to do like an online business side hustle or anything because now it's super easy to get paid for kind of anything so i think we're going to start with this object show you how easy it is to set this up now so here we are in cursor so what i have done now is i just created like uh i installed a next.js project right very simple i have a link in the description if you want to know how to do that using a simple prompt and from there we are using stripe agent toolkit and here you can kind of see we are going to create this object that gives us a link with just entering this prompt here. So create a payment link for a new product called test with the price of, right? So this we can customize to kind of be our own product. So uh, let's just run this now. So I'm going to show you the landing page we created for this. It's very simple landing page. So what is nice now if you, let's say I just got a, um, I got a domain for this. So this is my landing page. I can turn off the dark mode here, right? So you can see AI agent course, I have a image, I have mastering AI agents and I have like a, yeah, enroll now, right? So this is going to create a link to pay for this, right? So if we go back here now, you can see uh, I have something called API create payment and root. And here is where we set up kind of the straight Stripe agent. We are running the GPT-4.0 model. And the prompt we need here is just create a payment link for mastering AI agent for the price of $1.99. So it's going to take this prompt here. And from this prompt, we're going to create a payment link that kind of has the information we need here. So of course we need $1.99. That's going to be the price. And we're going to turn this into a payment link so that people can pay, right? And yeah. In this, we just have the information about the course. So what happens now if I click enroll now, right? Okay. So the only thing I've done is I put in my Stripe API key and my, uh, what do you call it? Open AI API key. Okay, perfect. We were sent to this landing page. I can just fill out here. So let me do that. Just a test here. Okay, so just fill out the test here because we are in test mode, of course. And we just click on pay. Okay, payment was done. Perfect. Let's see if this was added to our Stripe account now. Yeah, you can see here payment 199 succeeded. And how easy was that to set up, right? 
the kind of only thing we needed to put in in our env file here i'm going to show you so the only thing we added here was our stripe secret key and our open ai api key super easy right to set up and let me just show you how quickly it is to change up this now, change the prices and stuff. So let's just go to our landing page here. I wanna up the price to 2.99 down from 5.99. I can just save that. I can go to my route and I can just do, create a payment link for mastering AI agent with the price of, did I say 2.99? I think so, 2.99, yeah. And if we go back to our landing page now and refresh that, you can see, okay, 2.99 and roll now. This should take us now and it should create a payment link that has the price 2.99, right? Yeah, perfect. So that is super easy and a very nice way to kind of get a quick landing page up and running. Take paid payments for this straight into your Stripe account with all the security, uh, of course, Stripe uh, comes with, right? Uh, but of course, you have to be careful not to put your uh, API key on the front end. So you probably need to do a back end uh, for your API key here, right? But uh, it's a very easy setup. Simple landing page, payment link, going to be created by OpenAI here, right? GPT-4.0. So we're using some kind of function calling to create this. So that is a super easy way to get paid for just some simple things you want to quickly run up, right? Uh, but now I want to show you kind of the how we can charge people for using tokens on our app, right? So here you can see we have the agent quick start from Stripe Docs. Here you can learn how to build a basic chatbot and bill usage with the Stripe agent toolkit. So let's say you created like a chatbot that is very customized and you kind of want to charge people by pay as you go. Okay, so this is possible now with this setup. So we just install this toolkit, we create an endpoint to handle request, we initialize it, uh, we have some middleware, we called up the model, we create our chat interface using like our front end, and we kind of set the ENV test stuff, right? Stripe key, meter, input and output, and we ha have to create a customer ID, I just use email, and then we can just run this and test it. So let's open up cursor now and take a look at the code, and I'm going to show you kind of the meters I set up and stuff and how this works now. Let's just start by opening the front end now, so you can see we get to this page, welcome to AI chat, and here we need to register our customer, so I'm just going to do it by email, so let me just do uh, an email here, so let's just do a test at testai.com, and then we can start chatting, right? And here, now you can see we are ready to type here, okay? Uh, now I just want to pull up my meters, so if we go back to Stripe now, you can see I've created two meters here, one called output tokens and one called input tokens. So if you look at input, this has a price assigned to it, so it's going to cost $0.01 per unit, and one unit here is going to be 1000 so 1000 tokens is going to cost one cent, right? And let's see now what happens uh, when we, we we logged in, right? And we also had this uh, meter called output token. So this is the same price now. Uh, and now let's type a bit here. So let's say hello. Okay, how can I assist you? I need some help uh, to write a code to sum to ints, something like this, uh, yeah, okay, so you can see we are actually chatting to our bot now, and this UI is working, and if we go back to our meters now, you can see, okay, so you can see something happened here, test AI, uh, test AI com spent 136, uh, was this output tokens, yes, let's check the input tokens, they spent 84 and 49 input tokens, so now we can actually charge people using our chatbot by tokens. And this is going to be converted, of course. So let's say they spend 1000 tokens. We're going to charge them, is this one cent? I think so. So then you can kind of adjust the price, right? How much you want to charge people per uh, per token or per 1000 tokens. Uh, we can look at customers now. And yeah, you can see we added this customer, but we don't have any billing here because I set this up for monthly. So I think it's going to calculate all the tokens it spent for this month. And then it's going to bill it based on the the used tokens, right? Uh, I just thought that was pretty cool and it was not hard to set up, to be honest. 
Uh, we only have these two routes. We have this chat route, right? And here we kind of, this is the chatbot that we are talking to. And we have this customer route to kind of set up a customer. Uh, and again, let me show you what kind of environmental things we need here. So basically, all we need is just the Stripe secret key. The customer ID is going to be registered at its own. Stripe meter input, Stripe meter output. That's just an ID and we need an open AI key. That's all we need now to kind of use this AI agent, AI setup to kind of measure how many tokens our users are spending, right? And we can just up the price uh, if we wanted to. If we have a very special chatbot that kind of has an advanced backend that is very highly, maybe vertical or very special, then we can kind of charge people, let's say, we can do like half a dollar per 10,000 tokens or something. That, that could be up to you. But I just found this very interesting and it's a very cool idea to kind of try to build an app that doesn't have like a fixed price, uh, it's pay as you go. I think people like that, right? Uh, but of course, pay as you go could be a bit, maybe not so profitable, but of course you can set up the price and then people kind of know they only pay what they spend. So maybe they're entitled to spend it a bit more because they feel they have control and they only pay for what they use, right? I think this is a very neat thing, right? But like I said in the beginning of this video, what I'm looking most forward to is to start actually creating agent that has uh, these financial services available. So we can use this Stripe issuing API uh, so it can enable our agent to spend funds online, right? Uh, I think that's just gonna be very cool. Uh, and I have to plan to maybe put in like a hundred bucks or something. And uh, then we're gonna try to kind of free up the agent and let it know that it can kind of find somewhere it can spend those money anywhere and it's going to be really cool to see how it spends those money this could be like an investment thing or amazon or it can be crypto or we're going to find something cool to test this out on uh, but like i said in the beginning uh, i just have to wait until i have my uh, stripe issuing api ready so it's a very easy setup here if you kind of see this is like the the virtual card and we kind of have an, a limit here, right? Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. And you can see we can also monitor card usage using real-time authorization. So we can allow your system to approve or decline agent purchases. So we kind of have a human in the loop. So it doesn't go straight through, right? So I, I'm kind of excited for this. So I'm looking forward to hopefully very soon I can create the first agent that can go out and do some, yeah impact by buying things investing i don't know what exactly what we're going to do yet but i think it's going to be pretty cool uh but yeah like i said uh i'm gonna leave this uh article here in the description if you are interested just found it very interesting and i really like the thing we checked out with uh, the landing page how easy it is to create a payment link now using this function calling from openai so that was pretty cool uh yeah just a bit of a different video today. Uh, yeah, this is mostly if you're building apps and you're trying to make small side hustles. I think this is very helpful. So definitely go check it out. It's something I'm going to be using more. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Hope you learned something new. Maybe you knew about this, maybe not. Other than that, see you again very soon and have a great weekend.